Hey everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful start to your weekend. For today's video, I am doing a one brand only try on clothing haul. And it's been a while since I've done a video like this. Today I am trying on clothes from a fashion and lifestyle brand called Simple Retro. All of their clothing is in that vintage and feminine style, which definitely reflects my taste in clothes. So I have this package and then another big package with the other pieces from my order. Simple Retro very kindly allowed me to select these pieces to share with you today and they provided the clothing so that I could review it for you. So I'm going to be giving you my first impressions on the sizing, the quality, the pricing, and anything else that I noticed that might be helpful for you to know about the brand. Before I get started with this video, if this is your first time here to this channel, I upload new videos for you every Monday and Friday. My content is all about the romantic style and fashion. I've got unboxings, try on hauls, styling videos. So if you're interested in seeing more from me don't forget to subscribe and then click that little notification bell as well that will just remind you every time I share a video I'm gonna start off with this one because it's a pretty package why not all the items in this package seem to come in this nice packaging with their brand name on it oh my goodness this is very well made it's very thick it has beautiful embroidery throughout the whole blouse. It's in a size large because I wasn't sure how their sizing was gonna be. Just looking at it right now, I think this is going to be a perfect fit. I'm gonna show you this in natural lighting just so you can get a better idea of how much detail is on this blouse. But it does have that button up style on the back. That gives it a more luxurious feel. All right, so I'm gonna style this right away just so you can see it on and then just give you all the details about the blouse and then I'm gonna move on to our next item. like a designer blouse. I can't even express how much I love this. I'm really glad that I sized up because this top fits me perfectly. Like it feels like a medium. So I feel like you can see more of the detail in this lighting with all the ruffles. Like it is just beautiful how much detail has gone into this blouse. So I just paired it with these jeans and then just my casual shoes. It has that button up style and then I also tied it into a little bow right here to get that perfect fit. And also the buttons in the back were very easy to work with and they feel really sturdy. This is so soft. So you have some buttons at the top of the dress and then you have the zipper up style in the back. The dress also has ties so you can adjust the waist. This is such a classic vintage styled dress. this very fitted style on the top and you have that nice full skirt at the bottom and then you have the embroidery on the top and up throughout the whole dress it is just beautiful but let me show you what's going on in the back so it has these two buttons in the back and then it has a little zipper and then this little tie so the zipper is supposed to go up a little bit higher but i wasn't able to get it shut because it's very fitted on the top but i actually really like the look i think i actually might wear like a bralette underneath it but overall i think i would definitely recommend sizing up in their dresses let's move on to this big package lots of things in this one they all still come in the individual packaging too so nothing will get ripped or anything this is a tool skirt oh my goodness this is really soft it's pink and then it has the red tool it even has little confetti it's not like actual glitter it's like a metallic that makes it look like glitter i'll give you a close-up of it. it has elastic i wasn't sure if it would have elastic because i only saw the front and it looked like it was going to be like one of those skirts that would be really hard to get in and out of or that it looks like it has stretch in the waist but it actually doesn't but it does it has an elastic waistband and it also has a zipper 
this should be easy to get in and out of. Sometimes with skirts like this, I just, I never know what the fit is gonna be like. This is a size large. I love how much tulle is on this. Like this looks like an expensive skirt and it feels expensive. I'm gonna go find a fun outfit to wear with this. I wish I had had this skirt for Valentine's Day. This is just the cutest. I could see myself wearing like a tweed cropped jacket with it or something, but I love this just plain turtleneck with the shoes. You have this like metallic, oh my goodness, so much tool. I love it. But you have this like layer underneath it with the metallic shimmer. You can see it's like a little bit of a pink skirt. And then you've got like two layers of the tool thrown on top. It is very comfortable around the waist. I am so glad that they included this zipper. It goes all the way down to about right here. So it was really easy to work with. And yeah, it's just a very comfortable eye-catching skirt. This is going to be a perfect top for spring. The colors look like it anyway. Um, I think, oh, I'm holding it upside down. This is not a top, this is a dress. It does have a sheer layer underneath it and it is a mini dress. So the only thing that I'm worried about with this one is that these buttons might like gape open, but it does have a layer that kind of sits underneath it. It shouldn't be a problem but that is something that I could see potentially being an issue. I'm not gonna know how I feel about this until I try it on. So I'm gonna go style it and see how it fits. I love the style of this dress. It is so girly and I was so happy because the length of it is actually long enough for me. These buttons were really easy to work with too, so I didn't have any issue with that. But I did unbutton most of them just so that I wasn't stretching anything out. And thankfully, like this has plenty of room for my hips, which is the problem spot for me. It is a little bit fitted on the top. I feel like you can tell just a little bit with this button. Definitely gonna have to throw a big chunky sweater on this for right now, but I cannot wait to wear this as like a cute summer dress or something. I'm really liking these little ties in the back, but this one I kept pretty loose just because it was nice and fitted on the top. And this floral pattern is so bright and cheerful. I love it. You know how I like all those bows and lace? It kind of has that detail around the neckline. It has that slight puff sleeve that just gives it that modern touch to it. As far as quality, I'm very impressed with it. So let's go see what the fit is like. to create an outfit like this for so long, but I have been waiting for that right top to come along. And this is that top. I cannot believe how happy I am that it fits perfectly with this skirt. The blouse is a perfect fit. Since I was able to unbutton all of these, no makeup stains. It has a stretch in it because of these little rubber bands or whatever, these like little stretchy bands that go over the buttons. Close up, you can see all this detail. You can see this little clasp at the front of the blouse. For the back, it has that little collar that continues into the back. And then it has this little tie, which I was able to get perfectly to fall in line exactly how I wanted to with the skirt. 
This is gonna be a beautiful winter to spring transition piece. Definitely that off cream color that gives it that vintage look. Ooh, I really like the puff sleeve on this one. It's a little bit more dramatic than the ones that I've shown you so far. The more dramatic, the better. But it does have those button details on the sleeve and they are velvet. I love that. It has a pleated style in the back as well. And on the sleeves, there's florals, butterflies, birds, and pine cones on it. How cute is that? I could not resist this outfit because I needed something that would show off those velvet buttons and also just like all the pleat detail, the florals, and look at these cuffs on the sleeve. I can't handle it. I love it so much. It is such a beautiful blouse. I had to give you a close up of these buttons because they are just too cute. I feel like these two pieces, the overall and the blouse, were just made for each other because the overalls just bring so much attention to the blouse without losing my figure. And it's lighter, so it would definitely be something that I would wear more for the spring. I love it. Like this is just such a great piece and it's definitely a vintage looking outfit. Okay, so I think this is going to be a blazer. I did size up to a large in this one. I think this is definitely gonna be more of an oversized fit, but I'm okay with that. This material isn't stiff. It's the type of material that's gonna fall exactly to your figure. And I find this type of material to be very slimming. This is just like an endless, classic, timeless piece to have in your wardrobe. I am having way too much fun styling these, but I'm gonna go find an outfit for this, which will be very easy. And I'll be back to see what else we have in our clothing haul. blazer on top of the lace top because I love a good combination with lace. I love the color of this. The fit of it is nice and loose. I could come up with a lot of different ways to wear this. The material is so light. I just see this being such a nice piece for the spring. Last item in our clothing haul. This is a cream vintage styled blouse. It has that embroidery but it's done in a modern way. The material is once again really good. The buttons are painted white but they have a rose gold pattern on it that makes it look like a rose. And then once again I got a large and this one is definitely going to be more of an oversized fit. I'm gonna go try it on. perfect fit. It is kind of in that crop style once again. I am loving these buttons. I don't know why simple little things like that just make me so excited, but I, I love the buttons. So I was thinking this might be a problem with wrinkles, but it really is sorting itself out. And this pale yellow color, I'm loving it. it kind of makes me think of like an Easter blouse or something. First impressions on Simple Retro, it is a hidden gem. If you love vintage and romantic, I am so impressed with them. I'm trying to think of some more helpful critique. As far as sizing, like a couple of the items, I probably could have got sized a little bit better. In my opinion, the pricing is really good, especially for the quality that you're getting and the styles. They are well thought out, unique patterns. I see the detail and the thought behind these pieces. I think I'm remembering this correctly, but I do believe that they have a new collection each month. One thing that I did notice though while I was selecting these pieces to share with you all, their clothing sells out really fast. 
I can see why now. I hope you enjoyed this review of Simple Retro Clothing, and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.